One of the things that Adobe Captivate users sometimes have a little trouble wrapping their heads around is the concept of partial scoring with penalty points as well. Uh, what we're referring to here are multiple choice questions where there are multiple correct answers and, of course, wrong answers as well. I got a message from Dan who wrote, uh, is it possible to score uh, in such a way that if all answers are selected, only then will the wrong answers deduct points from the overall score for that question. For example, a question has three correct answers to choose from and two incorrect answers. Each answer is worth one point. The student selects two correct and one incorrect, and they still score two out of three. Uh, so Dan, unfortunately, multiple choice, multiple answer questions are not quite as sophisticated as I think uh, you have in mind, but I thought I would take this opportunity day, today to review uh, how you can set up a multiple choice question with multiple answers to have partial points and penalties as well. So let's take a look at this example here. Uh, they've created a very simple question here, and I've not done anything to it other than to enter in the question stem, the correct answers, and a couple of distractors. So the first thing I need to do with this particular question is to check multiple answers, because uh, in this case here, there's going to be more than one correct answer. So which of the following are provinces in Canada? Nova Scotia is correct. Prince Edward Island is correct. Newfoundland is correct, and these last two, New Hampshire and Maine, are incorrect. They are distractors for this question here. Now, if I was to run this right now or to publish this right now, uh, users would have to get all three of those correct answers and not select any of the distractors to get the current 10 points that this question is worth. Uh, we want to give it a little more flexibility. Uh, sometimes there are cases where you need to be very strict like that, but there are other cases where, you know, if you want to give partial points for part of the right answer, uh, you can do so. And that's done by checking partial score on your quiz panel here. And you'll notice that the points and penalties section of the quiz panel is now grayed out can't make any further changes. So how do we set that up? Well, that's actually done from your properties panel. And like several uh, other types of things that you can do in Adobe Captivate, the properties panel actually uh, helps you address some of those areas. The, you might think that there's no option for you to do anything at this point, but in fact there are. So if I select uh, the first correct answer, and I go to my properties panel under the options tab, you'll see that there are points associated with that one single answer. Uh, it just takes three points because uh, it's roughly divided up those numbers, but you can override that and uh, come up with, uh, with your own score for this. So let's just say one point for one correct answer. So I'll enter one point there. I'll select the next correct answer. And again, we'll just type in one. And the third and final correct answer will change that from four to one as well. So this way now, if I select two of the correct answers, I'll get two out of three for this question. Uh, if I select one, I'll get one out of three and so on. Now, I can also take it a step further and change the points awarded for New Hampshire and Maine. They're currently set for zero because they are wrong answers, but you can actually turn those into penalties as well. But I'm going to make uh, New Hampshire worth negative one, and I'm going to make Maine worth negative one. So let's uh, consider this scenario. So in other words, uh, if I select all three and then also select New Hampshire and Maine, in other words, I select five, I'll only be awarded points for one of the correct answers because New Hampshire and Maine will cancel out, let's say, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland. Uh, if I only select New Hampshire and Maine, I'll actually get a negative score. And while I've not encountered this situation myself, you need to be careful about negative scores when you're publishing for SCORM e-learning formats. 
the reason being is my understanding, and again, I've not experienced this myself, is that SCORM doesn't allow for negative scores uh, in your final results. So you want to be careful about that. Uh, before we preview this, let's just point out that you can also now select a partial correct feedback caption as well. And that's useful when you're letting users know that they got part of the answer correct. Uh, and maybe you give them feedback that gives them uh, a clue as to what the answer actually is, or it jogs their memory as to what the actual answer is. Uh, let's do a preview of this project now and see how that runs. So let's go through a few scenarios here. So first of all, let's see what happens when we only select wrong answers. Uh, we get the incorrect message, of course, which is right. And you can see that I scored minus two. And of course, if I was to submit that again, your learning management system might reject that because of course, uh, again, my understanding, uh, it could be just a bad memory, I'm not sure, but my understanding is that negative scores in SCORM compliancy is just not allowed. Let's try a different scenario where in this case here, I'll choose one of the wrong answers and one of the correct answers. We'll hit submit. So it says partially correct, click anywhere or press Y to continue. So we get our partial correct feedback message and we get a zero score because our one correct answer is canceled out by the one incorrect answer that we selected. Let's try it once more with all the correct answers and maybe one of the wrong answers here. So again, partially correct. And now we get two out of three. So again, we did have three points, but we lost one of those points because we also selected a wrong answer. And let's do it now 100% correct. And then we get the correct message. And of course, we get 100%. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.